Today we learn about graphic quadratic equations in standard form. The standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. To find the x coordinate of the vertex, use the equation negative b over 2a. To then find the y coordinate, plug the x value back into the equation. If a number is larger than 1, it is a narrow parabola. And if it is wider, and it is. Ooh, not gonna, and if the number is less than 1, it is a wider parabola. Negative numbers face downwards and positive numbers face upwards. Here are some examples on how to graph a quadratic equation. First you have to find the a variable, which is the x squared, so it would be 1. Then you have to find the b variable, which is the 4x, so it's just 4. And then the c variable is the negative 5, so it's negative 5. Then you find the x-coordinate by plugging the numbers into the equation negative b over 2a. So it would be negative 4 over 2 times 1. Um, which can be reduced, I mean, which equals negative 4 over 2. And can be reduced to negative 2. The y-intercept is the c-value, so it would be 0, negative 5. To find the y-coordinate, plug the x back into the equation. The new equation would be negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 times negative 5. which would be 4 plus 8 minus 5 equals negative 9. When graphing the parabola, will the parabola will open up because the x squared is positive. It's normal as well because it's just one. To graph you use the y-intercept of 0, negative 5 and then graph the x and y coordinate negative 2, comma 9. All drawing credits go to Abby Wisnet. To find the last point, use the axis of symmetry. The a value of this problem is negative 2, the b value is 8, and the c value is 0. Plug the numbers back into the equation negative b over 2a. So it would be negative 8 over 2 times negative 2, which equals negative 8 over negative 4. Which reduces to 2. To find the y-coordinate, you plug net 2 back into to the equation, so up, negative 2 times 2 <laughs> squared plus 8 times 2. Negative 8 plus 16 equals 8. And the y-intercept is 0, 0.
the parabola opens down because the a value is a negative. As you can see, the x-coordinate of the vertex in this problem equals 1, and the y-coordinate equals 2. Uh, the point on the y-axis is at 3, and uh, it opens upwards because it is a positive. So that's that. Uh, yup.